We also wish to thank and greatly honor the first line responders and medical personnel for the work that they've been doing. I pray and I ask the Almighty God to richly, richly bless them for the sacrifices that they're making each and every single day. Um, at its first, uh, at its sitting held on Tuesday, 31st March 2020, the Senate, by resolution, established an ad hoc committee on the COVID-19 uh, situation. The committee is mandated to oversight the actions by the government, both the national government and the county governments, in addressing the spread and the effects of COVID-19 in Kenya. And the ad hoc committee has been addressing the following issues. One, the provision of testing and medical equipment, including adequate ventilators in referral hospitals and at least one public hospital in each county, provision of adequate isolation facilities and ICU facilities in every one of our 47 counties, measures to ensure the continuous supply of food and other essential commodities at affordable prices, measures to ensure learners in educational institutions continue with their studies, measures to ensure protection, safety and well-being of healthcare and other frontline workers, as I've stated, enhancement of capacity and flexible deployment of healthcare staff, financial assistance to vulnerable persons and groups, protection of residential and commercial tenants, establishment of a stimulus package for micro, small and medium-sized enterprises, easing of legislative and regulatory requirements for doing business, measures to protect employees from retrenchment and job losses, and uniform policies and procedures aimed at slowing and eventually stopping the spread of this virus. Um, the committee has and continues to undertake an in-depth analysis of the issues arising from the COVID-19 um, pandemic with a view to ensuring that all these concerns are addressed by both the national government and the county government, and that stakeholders are engaged to the best extent possible, and that eventually the committee findings and recommendations captures the concerns and the aspirations of Kenyans. Um, as of this morning, the committee has held eight meetings. Um, one meeting, the initial meeting, was uh, uh, offline, a real a live meeting, and the other seven meetings have been held online uh, through different technological platforms. Um, this committee, and this on behalf of the people of Kenya, because we are the representatives, we have clustered the emerging issues into five areas. The first area is health issues. This covers uh, community health testing, quarantine, isolation centers, ICU facilities, human resources for health, drugs, and supplies, the role of engagement of county governments and the mental health situation, which, as you've heard from the CS and his team, um, is an increasingly uh, serious uh, situation. Secondly, we're looking at a core issue of economic and finance issues. This covers the microeconomic effects of uh, this pandemic, the impact on businesses, uh, trade facilitation, and measures to cushion borrowers uh, from and, 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 and financial institutions from the state of things as we speak today. The third issue is a social, public order and human rights. That is an area of great concern that the committee has looked at in, in, in all of its eight sittings. This includes protection of vulnerable persons and groups, uh, protection of women and girls at risk of domestic abuse, measures to enable learners to continue with their studies enforcement of the national curfew and restrictions of movement, as has been announced by the government, and the congestion of prisons and demand facilities, and access to justice through our judiciary. Um, the fourth issue that we've been looking at broadly is access to food and water and other basic commodities, including measures to ensure the continuous supply and production of food, water, and essential commodities. And finally, support services and cross-cutting issues. These are more of the auxiliary issues, which are still very important. This is awareness creation, measures to prevent infection and combat stigmatization, which is a big issue. Um, the role of ICT in combating the pandemic and in enabling Kenyans to be able to work from home for those who are able 
to work from home. The committee further invited uh, proposals from the general public and from institutions. And I'm happy to report that as of uh, yesterday, the committee has received submissions from 88 different institutions and members of the public. I want to thank all of those who have taken their time to send their concerns, to send their, to send their issues. We know public participation is enshrined in our constitution as one of the values of leadership and governance. And we are going through each and every of those submissions that have been sent from the various stakeholders and from individual members of the public. I want to assure them and I want to assure Kenyans that the, this House of Parliament, the Senate, and indeed Parliament, the Parliament of Kenya, including the National Assembly, is up to task to deliver on its mandate of representing the people of Kenya and oversighting the actions of government. This is a time for leadership to come together and this is a time for us to work together to make sure that we beat this pandemic. In this coming week, starting from Friday, the committee is scheduled to hold meetings with the National um, Coordination Committee on Coronavirus, which includes cabinet secretaries of line ministries, dealing with the various aspects um, of the coronavirus response, as well as representatives from the Council of Governors and other nation, national government agencies and departments. <clears throat> this meeting will enable the committee to receive uh, responses on a number of specific and urgent issues. And uh, I must say that by now, We've already been in co uh, communication and consultation. We've already sent all these questions to the various agencies, and I will be able to give you a matrix of the issues for which we have raised questions and raised uh, concerns on behalf of the people of Kenya. Um, these issues um, that we will be tabling will also include what we've received from uh, different county governments and assemblies what we receive from the private sector, from civil society organizations, women, youth, and other stakeholders. Um, and we'll be meeting them through the online system because we can embrace technology and technology has indeed been helping us at this time to have these meetings at a time of social distancing. Um, some of the recommendations that we've already set out um, that are of, are of concern to the people of, uh, of Kenya uh, are, as, are as follows. Include one, a reprieve on the taxation of frontline health workers. At this time, we need to give them uh, some financial reprieve as well, and these are measures that Parliament can take together. Waiving of payments of rental taxes by landlords and consideration of the amounts to be paid by tenants. This is a discussion that we are already having, and we've set representation to the Ministry of uh, Finance to see, in addition to the measures spelled out by the President, in his address, what can also be done to cushion, because many households, the biggest chunk of the expenditure really is, is, is rental. Um, but this will be done also considering that the landlords also depend on that income. Um, provision of food rations and subsidies, especially for the urban poor in informal settlements. Uninterrupted provision of water and strategic high mass water tanks in urban and informal settlements. This includes waivers on payment of uh, water bills and uh, you know following measures on energy as well on electricity as part of measures taken to enforce the curfew and restriction of movement in and out of certain counties and the list was given out to you we recommend that more thought be put out to the issue of food supply to ensure we do not cut off urban areas from food supply as it is and already we are getting uh, reports and these are questions we'll be asking as we support the government initiatives uh, many of the traders in major markets, in Nairobi, um, in Mombasa, in many of these urban areas, do not necessarily transport their food in a food truck, written food. You know, many of them use elements of public transport, where they come with some of their cabbages, some of their potatoes, and so the curtailing, the blank curtailing can affect it. And these are things being taken into consideration by Parliament, and we know we will get the requisite responses from the Ministry and from the uh, Emergency Committee. As resolved by the Senate, the committee will continue to submit its progress report on a weekly basis to senators. We have submitted our first uh, report today and we will be giving it to you. And until conclusion of this engagement weekly, when we shall table the final report. The committee is also considering, we already have a draft bill that we're considering on comprehensively addressing the issues and concerns that are arising out of not just the current coronavirus situation, 
but also any such pandemics that might come up in the future um, so that it establishes the different protocols that different levels of government can engage quickly without necessarily having to go through a long process. We've done an analysis of what other parliaments in the world have been doing. And at this time, we would like to urge the speakers of both houses, we would like to urge the speakers of county assemblies to innovate, to use the discretion provided for in the standing orders to provide for online mechanisms of sittings. This is a time when representation of the people, leadership and solutions are most needed. Parliament remains the institution constitutionally mandated to oversight the actions of both levels of government, to represent the people of Kenya, and to legislate measures that are needed at such a difficult time. Not being able to meet physically, as has been the case, should not curtail the constitutional rights of Kenyans to representation. At the preliminary stage, the committee also recommends that there is a more structured coordination between the two levels and the three arms of government in ensuring a seamless response to the corona pandemic in Kenya. We also hope and we're waiting because what we expected today was that the National Assembly would also be setting up a similar committee that would work jointly with us through the online uh, system so that uh, in the next few days, the specific proposals can be taken through the legislative um, process. I think at that point, I want to thank you. Um, may God bless Kenya.